talking with Deb Sklut, who is a artist, and she has a company called Squeaky Squeegee Art, and she makes microbial-themed art. Is that right? Is That's that, right. What kind of art do you make? Tell us. Um, well, I do mostly screen printing, and I also do oil painting, and uh, most of the themes of my artwork um, has been science themes, uh, specifically, I guess, the... Uh, about the power of science and the tools of science. So you have a tool of science on your t-shirt there, I do. right? That's an Eppendorf pipette, right, in a hand? Yes. That's pretty cool. So you draw that yourself, yes. right? You do it by hand, not I by computer? I do it by hand, no computers. Um, I draw it freehand. I make my stencil by hand. I do the whole photo emulsion process myself in my home studio, and I print them myself. And where do you get your inspiration from? Um, well, my husband recently completed his Ph.D. here at Cal. Um, he was in the Department of Infectious Diseases and Immunity, and he worked in the Glomsinger lab for most of his graduate career, and um, they studied herpes. And um, just, he's mostly my inspiration. It's, it's something I don't necessarily feel like I have a good understanding of, so I kind of I'm always wanting to learn more about it, and through my art is kind of my way of understanding what he does and my understanding of science with my limited uh, knowledge and exposure to the field. Do you have any science background? No. Oh. Just, you know, a few classes in college. Yeah. Did, you, well. did you study art in college? I did. I studied here at Cal. Um, I studied art and Spanish. Uh-huh. So when you walk around, uh, do you look around and get inspiration from the world around you too? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I, uh, in addition to science art, I also, my, my um, pet rabbits are <laughs> frequent inspiration for my artwork too. Which um, I guess they're kind of scientific because a lot of labs use rabbit models to um, study various things. So tell us some of the things you've made. I know you've made t-shirts because they're here today. Some of them have bacteria and viruses mm -hmm. on them. What other sorts of art do you do? Um, well, I do paper, screen prints on paper as well. Um, and I do oil paintings. I like doing oil um, portraits. Hmm. I've been working on a series since college. Like, so Britt uh, Glounsinger is going to bring me to your to her office. She said she has some of your art on the walls. Yeah. So that's some of the oils and, and such? Um, she has one acrylic painting and two um, screen prints. So this is um, T4 bacteriophages infecting an E. coli bacterium. And this is a 13 color screen print. Wow. And um, yeah, it was pretty painstaking to line everything up perfectly or register all the layers and uh, yeah especially and printing on black paper it's 13 colors because I had to print almost every fluorescent color twice so and the lakes three times how long, did it, how long did it take you to do that um, well I made 40 of these so I'd say to get it to a complete color maybe like an hour a layer <laughs> once you start once you line everything up though and you get going the process goes by pretty quickly, but um, yeah, we spent most, multiple days with my awesome printing assistant, my husband Sergio. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I hear your inspiration for a lot of these. What do you got on your shirt? So this here? is that same. Oh, it's the same one except without phages, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And this is Brit. Yeah. In whose office? I'm a big are. fan of the art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Very supportive of my art. And then there's one on the wall here, which is uh, yep. herpes virions. That's it's right. appropriate for you, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what is that? What's the um, uh, what is what's the word? I should. What is the medium? <laughs> what is the medium? This is for also them? a screen print on uh, paper, uh -huh. and um, it's you just used a couple different techniques to print out a film or stencil that allowed me to put a photo in the background. Right. And um, then that's my original herpes drawing, and then my husband's um, lab notes oh, from that's his. Cool. Look at I that, traced yeah. them from his um, lab notebook. They're mostly protocols, I've been told, but I still think they look really neat. <laughs> They're kind of fascinating to me. There's like a plasmid map in the background. That's what that is, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And the blue is the DAPI from an infected cell experiment from another graduate student. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rainier. <laughs> It's, yeah. be it's beautiful.
then we have this one too, which was a Christmas present from Debbie <laughs> and Sergio a few years ago over herpes virus. Yeah, that was just. <laughs> what's the of, what's the medium? That's oil. That's acrylic paint. Acrylic. That's one of my first um, paintings that I did. I think. Yeah. I think it came out pretty good. <laughs> Watch out for a herpes T-shirt. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I don't know. I'm think maybe some diatoms too. Diatoms sound good, right? Yeah. yeah. How about yeah. cells? Yeah, I've been wanting to do a cell, like a cross section of a cell. So. You know, um, since your last name is Skloot, and Rebecca Skloot wrote the book about HeLa cells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should do a HeLa cell and then send her a copy. Yeah. Oh you yeah. Should. You should. That's cool. And then, by the way, are you related to me? <laughs> <laughs> like, never met another Skloot. <laughs> I bet she is somehow. Because who has that last name? I know. Just, I know. Yeah. And um, yeah, working on some other. I've stolen some more of Sergio's lab notes, and I'm kind of cooking something up with that. We'll have to see. Get some good cell pictures from him too. Sounds like a good collaboration. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of fun. I mean, you just bounce off, you bounce ideas off each other. Yeah, people people think we're really different until they like meet us and see how both our passions are combined to, you know, they merge into this art. So I think it's kind of a it's cool fun too, right? I mean, juxtaposition. All this is really fun. It is. Yeah. yeah, you've learned a lot about screen printing and art, and I've learned a lot about science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's really cool. So is all your work uh, prints and painting? No sculpture, no three-dimensional type stuff? Actually, I do do sculpture too. Um, I just don't have access to wood shops and metal shops anymore like I did in college. Um, but I've, I'm definitely into like welding and woodworking and hmm. stuff like that too. But I just that requires a shop, and I've already taken over most of my apartment with my art stuff. So <laughs> how long have so, you been doing this for? You know, selling T-shirts and paintings. Hmm, and that okay, um, T-shirts. I started the semester or two after I graduated from college. It's kind of it kind of um, really mobilized. Uh, not till like. Five months ago, six, no, six months ago, in October, I was selling art at um, Art Murmur in Oakland, hmm. which is a first Friday um, art walk in the uptown area. And now you have an online store at Etsy, right? I do. And I'm working on building that up. <laughs> that's uh, squeaky squeegee art dot mm -hmm. Etsy dot com. Is that's that right? right. We'll, we'll print it on the screen so people can go there and find yeah, your stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. And what's in the future for you? What, what are you going to do? You know, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I um, I plan, I really want to go to grad school. I would love to. Um, so I'm working on building up a portfolio to do that. And um, hopefully by selling my art on Etsy, I can, you know, fund my graduate studies in the future. And Sounds great. Yeah. You know, I really thank you for taking the time to talk to me. I'm going to put this interview on my, my blog, and I hope you get lots of sales to help your goal of getting into grad school. Yay! I love supporting all artists that have science-themed work. Deb Skloot, thank you so much. Thank you.